Their work has been really critical to get us through the pandemic, and today a very special event kicked off Nurses Week at Henry Ford Wyandotte. It is called the Blessing of the Hands. Paula Tutman joins us live with why these nurses feel like this ceremony is so important to their work, especially now. Paula? Hi, Karen. Yeah, hi. Hi, everybody. First of all, I just want to point your attention to this. I don't know if you remember when the white ribbon campaign started in those early days of COVID and we were really touting our health care heroes. I do want to point out that the, the blessing of the hands is not a new ceremony, but there's certainly new reasons to do it, particularly when you think about how we worshiped our health care heroes. And some of that is really shifted. We have a blessing of hands because so much of what we do in healthcare is done with our hands. Ask any nurse why she or he wanted to be a part of the ceremony of the blessing of the hands that heal, and he or she will tell you it was to ask for just a little additional help spiritually. Lord God, we ask you to bless your hands. I wanted to do this because it's been such a rough two years going through the pandemic. Um, the ups and downs. Today in the courtyard of Henry Ford Health Wyandotte with anointed oils from Ireland, the hands that touch and heal were blessed. Amen. I'm an ICU nurse. To bring God's love, mercy and kindness to those you meet. It was hard. That's the best way. It's, it's hard to explain. It's hard to put into words unless you were there and you know you were actually able to see it. It was it was hard. Me be his hands and feet in action now in all the days of your life. As a nurse, my eyes and my hands have experienced so much that it's very hard to fathom. Um, but I have to remain humble and reflect on what I do have. Most of us try not to talk about it. We try to get through it. You know, we try to stay positive, and it's just hard to talk about. Chaplain Karen remembers those early days. Early on, there was a, a tremendous amount of public support. We would have food trucks out there. People were delivering um, food and, and gifts to employees. Um, a, a lot of um, local establishments would give discounts for employees. Um, there was a lot of, of community support. But there's been a shift, and for many nurses, it's palpable. With the politicizing of the COVID virus and everything that needs to be done to beat it back, as well as just plain COVID fatigue, today Henry Ford Health acknowledged in a statement, we have seen incidents involving patients or visitors becoming violent, often in response to safety measures like masking and visitation policies. And as we shift from pandemic to endemic, the talented hands that touch and heal and help are still very busy and are in need of some healing themselves. Amen. And today, at least for some, it meant energy to move forward with peace. Today is my new start. When I go back inside those doors onto my unit and into my office, it's a brand new time for me. It makes you feel like stronger. Like, you're just like, woo! Like, let's do this! <laughs> it's like a recharge, you know? Like, <laughs> a reamp. Oh my gosh, just seeing her reaction alone is worth the price of admission. Karen, this is a great reminder because there's a lot going on in hospitals we don't see. This is a great reminder. This is not a hobby for these folks. This is their profession. They do it with love. They do it with compassion. They compassion rather. They do it with skill and just giving them something, something that says, hey, we appreciate you. That's that's what makes it worth it. Karen, mm, appreciate and so respect. Thank you so much, Paula. We appreciate it.